Now it's time to see if you've got it. So here we have a try. We're gonna solve log of six minus log of three x equals negative two. Remember when that there's not a base that's written for log log, that's log base 10. That's your common logarithm, log base 10. So we don't have to write the base 10. We're gonna solve this and I've provided a few hints for you. You wanna condense, exponential form, and solve. So why don't you try that and then when you're ready, come back and join us and I will be working out this problem. Okay, so I'm going to first condense by writing log of a fraction, six goes in the numerator, three X goes in the denominator, equals negative two. This is a base 10, so I will have 10 raised to the negative two power equals six over three X. I can reduce that. The, equa the left side of the equation is one over 100. I think I lost my pen for a second there. Let's go back. Sometimes it just wants a little reset. One over 100 equals two over x. Six divided by three is two. I'm gonna cross multiply, x equals 200. Now I'm gonna to check to make sure that x being 200 keeps a positive argument, and it indeed does. Therefore, x equals 200 is our answer. So if you got that, excellent work. Okay, here's another for you to try again. I've got a hint on the side, combine the logarithms, then rewrite in exponential form, and lastly, solve. So here we go. We're gonna have log of seven X plus one minus log of X minus two. I just subtract this logarithm from both sides is equal to one. We're gonna condense log I'm gonna have a fraction, seven X plus one goes in the numerator, X minus two goes in the denominator, equals one. I've got a base 10, 10 to the first power is equal to seven X plus one over X minus two. I'm gonna cross multiply, 10 times X minus two is equal to seven X plus one. 10 X minus 20 is equal to seven X plus one. 3x equals 21, x equals seven. I'm going to check to make sure that seven does not cause a problem in the original equation, which was log of seven x plus one equals log of x minus two plus one. We put a seven in. When I put a seven into the first argument, we get 50 and 50 is a positive number, so that works. When we put seven into the next argument, seven minus two is five, seven minus two is five, so that is a positive number. Therefore, x equals seven is not extraneous. It is a solution that works. It is a solution that works. So you've gotten quite a few examples here to go with and practice with. Just make sure you always check, always check for extraneous, for extraneous, I'll spell it for you, extraneous solutions that make the argument, that make the argument less than or equal to zero because that's not allowed. Other than that, I think that you've, you've got a good start. You've got a good start, a good foundation here in this lesson with all these examples to take it on your own and, and try, try in your practice and see if you've, you've got it, master it, and then we'll be ready.